Welcome to game two of the 1995 World Series. Atlanta Braves versus Cleveland Indians. And we're still using Internet Baseball League cards and dice simulation. We're still in Atlanta, so that Cleveland will be up first. We have to find out the weather for the day. So we got the Deep South. We're going to roll two dice on that. When we get a 61. We got to go to the night temperature. It's going to be cool. 32 through 99 will be cool. So let's go to the sky now. Two dice again. 71. And that's going to be uh, cloudy. So 71 through 99. So we have to roll for precipitation. We roll a 77 in October and there's none. On the mound for Atlanta is going to be Tom Glavin. And up the bat first is Kenny Lofton. And he rolls a 789. That'll be off the pitcher card versus a lefty. Will be a strikeout. One down. Omar Vizquel up. Now, a 715. That's going to come off Glavin's card again versus another left. Uh, he'll be a righty tonight. 715. Slow grounder to second base. Carlos Barrega's up now. And he bats right hand tonight against a lefty. 288 off his card versus a left hand pitcher is going to be a routine grounder to third base. One, two, three in the top. On the mound for Cleveland is Dennis Martinez. And up the bat first is Marquise Grissom. Righty on righty. 732. That's going to be off the pitcher's card, so against a righty, will be a slow grounder to second base. That brings up Mark Lemke now. He's a switch hitter. He'll be batting lefty against Martinez, who's a righty. 722. Be off the pitcher card against a lefty. Another slow grounder to the shortstop. And with nobody on base, them are always a, a out. That brings up Chipper Jones now. He's a switch hitter also. He'd be bad lefty tonight as of right now. He rolls a 12 against Martinez versus a righty. And that's going to be a error. 11 through 67. Let's go to the chart. we got to roll one die. We roll a 7. It's going to be on the left fielder to the outfield. Error range. So Albert Bell. His error is a 6. We roll over here on the 6. Roll our two die. We roll a 91, which is going to be a P, and that is going to be a pop-out. Chipper Jones hits a little shallow pop-up to left field. Albert Bell's under it, makes the grab for the third out. And that is the end of the first inning, 0-0. Zero to zero. Right, top of the second, we got Albert Bell, Eddie Murray, and Manny Ramirez do up. And Albert Bell is a righty, taking on the lefty Glavin with a 175 versus a lefty. Double to right center field. Let's go to the chart, see what RCF means. If there was runners on, then we would go by this. But since there's not, it's just going to be a double. Well, Albert Bell smacks the double into the gap off Tom Glavin for the first base runner tonight. Eddie Murray up now. He bats both ways, switch hitter too, so he'll be a righty tonight. 419 against a left-hander. We'll get a pop-out to second base. Manny Ramirez up with one out. And he is a righty. 392. That'd be off his card against a lefty. A strikeout. Okay, Jim Tomey's up, a lefty. He rolls a 11 which will be an error. Okay, let's roll one die. We roll one. That's gonna be on the pitcher. Glavin's error right in, looks like a nine. Let's roll two die. He rolls 81, which is HG. Hard grounder to the pitcher. Let's see what hard grounder means for the pitcher. That'd be the very first chart. Okay, here we go, hard grounder. With the, with the man on first and second, 
Double play, runner on first, out at second, batter out of first, runner on second to third. On a ball hit a third base, he makes play unassisted at third and throws to second base to complete the double play. Tommy smacks a hard grounder to Tom Glavlin. He picks it up, fires over to second base. Belliard's there. He grabs it, makes the routine toss over to first for the double play to end the inning. Okay, Fred McGriff is up. Lefty versus righty. McGriff rolls a 901 against a lefty off the pitcher card. 901 will be a deep fly. Deep fly. We got to get his rating. That's Fred McGriff. His power versus a righty is excellent. Back to the chart. Excellent. We roll under here now. Two die. He rolls a three, which will be a two. And let's go to their wall distance. Okay, so he's supposed to roll to see his die, the bat location die. He rolls a zero. That's going to be right. And he's a left spray hitter. RFL. We're over here on the deep fly chart. RFL will be boss headed right down the foul line. Lefty spray. So we got to roll two die to see what happens. Rolls a 76. If the number is 31 to 99, ball stays fair. Continue on the deep fly chart for the result of the play. So we rolled a three. It was a two down the right field line. So we got an eight. And it says greater than or equal to the proper wall distance. The result is a homer. If not, less is caught on the warning track. So warning track is up here. Here's a warning track. It says batter out. And Griff hits a deep fly down the right field line. And Manny Ramirez is at the warning track for the catch. That brings up David Justice now. He rolls a 914 against a lefty off the pitcher's card. 914 will be a strikeout. Justice is down just looking. Kles goes up now. He's a lefty. He rolls a 544. That's going to come off the card over here, the pitcher. 544. OFR, uh, outfield range. Okay, outfield range. Let's go to that chart. Outfield range. He's a left spray hitter. Rolls a 88. So we're down the left spray line chart. 88 is going to be down the line. So we go to down the line to the left fielder. And the left fielder for is Albert Bell. His range is a A. That's going to be a uh, dive and catch. He's got great defense. 79, 0 to 99 on an A is a dive and catch. So Klesko hits a little flying looper down the left field line. Here comes Albert Bell in for a diving catch to make the out. And that key says Fielder makes fantastic diving catch. Runner on third may attempt to score. Nobody's on. And that's a one, two, three inning here in the second for the score to be zero to zero still. Top of the third. We got Tony Pena up. He's a righty. He rolls a 744, so that's going to come off Glavins. That's going to be a high fly ball to left field. Pena pops one up high out to Brian Klesko, who's sitting there waiting for it. He makes the grab for the first out. Martinez is up. He's working off the card one. 446 against Glavin. That's going to be a strikeout for the second out. Kenny Lofton up. 145 versus a lefty. Now Lofton's card is going to be liner to left field for a single. So Lofton's on. He smacks one down over to the left field line. Cusco picks it up. Fires it in the second. The scale's up now. Rolls a 8-11 as a righty off Glavin's card. That's going to be a single, a grounder through to center field. GCF, let's go look with a runner on. And he rode odd. Refer to the best advancement chart below. GCF, we're on grass, two through seven. Runner at first has a one plus choice. Let's go look at Lofton. Lofton's running is a three, so it's one base. It looks like it's only going to be one base, and it's a choice if he wants to go to third. 
Okay, so that's a grounder to center field. So he's on. Lofton goes over to second. That's going to bring up Varega now. And he's going to be a righty. 433. Come off his. Varega pops up one to center field. Grissom comes in, makes the grab. And that's third out of the inning. Okay, Javi Lopez is up. He rolls 105 versus a righty. Javi Lopez smacks one right up the middle for a single. And that's Atlanta's first base runner tonight. Belliard's up now. He's a righty. We'll re row. 255 against a righty will be a strikeout for the first out. So that brings up Tom Glavin now. And he's a number three hitter. Pitcher card. 928 will be a strikeout. Glavin goes down for the second out. Back to the top of the lineup now. Marquise Grissom's up. Man on first. Rolls a 224. Gets a righty. It's going to be a routine grounder to third base. Grissom hits one over to Tommy. He picks it up. Tosses it over to first. Eddie Murray grabs it for the third out. And still 0-0 zero, zero after three. Top of the fourth, we got Albert Bell up. And Tom Glavin's fatigue is seven, so he still got four innings to go at least. 181. Against a lefty, off Bell's card, it's going to be a liner. Albert Bell smacks one down the third base line. Klesko's running over, and that's going to hold Bell to a single. All right, let's go for a jump. Let's see what we can get here. Let's see. His uh, jump rating is a zero. Still in is a two. Here's our jump key. He has a jump of zero. And the hold rating for Glavin, Glavin's hold is an average. And he's a zero. Let's see if he can get the jump. Albert Bell rolls a 77. And that says it's a bad jump. Let's go to the key. Let's see what bad jump means. The runner attempts to steal using the stealing chart, but didn't get a good jump. Subtract so two addition to all other adjustments for runner still rating. So he's got a two, so he's going to go down to a zero. So that's going to be right here. Stolen base caught stealing. Let's roll two die. 8 through 21, he gets a stolen base. Anything after it is caught stealing. He rolls a 27, and Albert Bell is going to be out. Yep, CS caught stealing, runner out. Albert Bell has got a bad jump. He's on his way to second. Javi Lopez fires over to second base. Rafael Belliard's there, makes a grab, and tags out Albert Bell for the out. First out. That brings up Eddie Murray now. Eddie Murray is batting right, 224 versus lefty. That's going to be a LF. That's going to be a long fly ball to the center fielder, F8. Manny Ramirez is up now. 514. So righty going to come off Glavin's card. That's going to be a wild pitch pass ball. Let's go to the chart. Let's see, uh, roll two dice. Use the foul territory of the state. Foul territory is average. So we go to average, roll the two die. We get a 73 on average. Foul out to the first base, F-O. Manu Ramirez hits a little shallow fly out. And the foul territory over to McGriff for the third out. That's the top of the fourth. And we're in the bottom now. And Dennis Martinez goes seven innings. Lemke's up to bat. He's batting left, 438 against a righty. Lunky hits a high pop-up to center field. Lofton's under it. He makes the grab. Chipper Jones now, 441 against a righty. And that's going to be a P. Chipper Jones hits a little pop-up over to Vizquel. He grabs it for the second out. The Griff up now. He rolls a 601 off the pitcher card. So where Griff gets hit by Dennis Martinez, he... Walks on down to first base, and that brings up Justice with two outs. 604 against a lefty off the pitcher card. Justice hits a little slow grounder over to Carlos Barrega. He picks it up, fires over to McGriff for the third out. Still 0-0 zero zero after four. Top of the fifth, Jim Tomey's up. Rolls a 475 versus a lefty. Tommy slaps a 
Grounder over to Lemke at second. Lemke fills it. Fires it over to McGriff for the first out. Pena up now. Pena rolls a 637. Now for the pitcher's card. That's going to be a high fly to center. Grissom's under it. Makes the catch for the second out. Martinez up. Rolls a 292. This card, that's going to be a strikeout for the third out. One, two, three. Got Klesko up. Rolls a 948 against the lefty on the pitcher card. That's going to be a base on balls. Javi Lopez up. Rolls a 609 against a righty pitcher's card. 609 will be a slow grounder to shortstop. For if runner has a rate in greater or equal to two, batter out at first. Runner advances second. If runner has less than one, he is forced at second. Batter safe at first. His running is a zero. So he's pretty terrible at running. So back to that. If it's lesser than one. He is forced at second and the guy is safe at first. That was the shortstop. So it was a six, four. It's so not first. Javi Lopez hits slow grounder to, to Mescal. He picks it up. He gets the easy out at second. Oh, we got Belliard up now. Belliard rolls a 208 against a righty. 208 is a routine grounder to third base. And we got a guy on first. Let's see what that is. Let's go to the chart. Grounder, third base. There's a man on first. Runner out second. Batter safe at first. Okay, so he hits a... Balliard hits one over to Tomey. He fires over to second for the force out. And Balliard's on first with two outs. All right, Glavin's up now. He rolls a 331. That's going to be a strikeout for the third out. And after five, still zero to zero. Top of the six, Kenny Lofton's up. 706. That'll be off the pitcher's card against a lefty. So Lofton smacks one over to McGriff. He picks up the grounder, runs over and tags the base for the first out. Vizquel up now, 470. That'll come off his card against a lefty. 470 is a scale pops up one high out to center field. Grissom has a play on it. He makes the catch. Orega up. 389 against a lefty. Orega hits one over to Rafael Belliard. Belliard picks it up. Little crow hop, tosses it to McGriff for the out. And that's a 1-2-3 in and bottom of the six. Marquise Grissom's up. 110 against a righty. How gr hard grounder to shortstop. Grissom smacks one over to Vizquel. He picks it up, tosses it over to Eddie Murray for the out. Lemke up. Rolls at 870 against a lefty on the pitcher's card. 870 is a deep fly. Go to the chart. Deep fly chart. Here we go. So he'll be a lefty spray because he's going against a righty. Roll two dice. That's a zero. That's going to be right RFL, right filled, right down the foul line. Roll two dice. Let's see what we get. We get a 67, and that's going to be in the B range. If the number is 31 and 99, ball stays fair. Continue on the deep fly chart for the result of the play. So let's go down to deep fly. we got to get his rate in. Batter as power rating. Lemke against a righty is poor. Roll on the poor. Roll a 38. LF. Ball fly ball battered out. So Lemke hits one to down the right field line, but it stays fair. Manny Ramirez has a play on it, makes the, makes the catch for the second out. Chipper Jones up now. 686. That'll come off the pitcher's card. Against the lefty, liner to center field for a single. Chipper Jones smacks one in between second and third baseman out to the outfield, and he's on with a single. Brings up McGriff now. 474. That would be off his card against a righty. 474. McGriff pops one up out to Kenny Lofton. He makes the grab for the third out. Top of the seventh. Got Albert Bell up. We got us a pitching duel today. 831, that's going to be off the pitcher's card against a righty. Will be a strikeout. Bell goes down looking. First out, Eddie Murray now. He's got a 44 against a lefty. We're going to go on to the E. Okay, there's the error chart. Let's see who is on. We get us a 6. 
It's going to be E on the shortstop. Go over here. We got to find out his error rating. Shortstop is Rafael Belliard, and that is a six. And we roll two dice. We get a 13 on the six. And that's going to be Chopper's bobble by the second baseman. Throw is not in time. And it's got a one by it. All runners advance one base. So Belliard can't fill the ball right. He bobbles it around. And Eddie Murray is on first with an error. He's on. All right, Manny Ramirez up with a guy on first. And he rolls a 674. He's a righty. That's going to come off Glavin's card. Ramirez pops one up over to Justice. He's there to grab it. Murray holds that first. Brings up Tommy now. 135. He'll be off his card against a lefty. That's going to be a liner to left field for a single. And we got a man on first. Let's go to the chart. CLLF. 135. So it's odd for to the chance far below. Ah, uh, playing surfaces, 5 through 7 rating. And I believe Murray's real slow. So he's older. His running is a, it's a 1. So he's not going to advance at all. Because you need a 5 through a 7. So Tommy hits a liner out to left field. And Murray moves up to second base. And that's going to bring Pena back up. Rose 613 against, that'll be on Glavin's card versus a righty. Pena hits a slow uh, slow grounder over to Raphael Belliard. He picks it up, fire to first for the third out. And Glavin gets out of the jam. That's going to bring up David Justice now. And uh, this is Martin, Martinez's uh, fatigue is this inning. So... See what happens. He rolls 45. 45 against a righty will be a E. Let's go to the chart. Got to roll a die. Rolls a six. That'll be the short stops. We got to find out the short stops. That's going to be a skill. His error is a 10, so he's real good. Short stop 10. Roll a two die. Rolls a 13. That's going to be a screamer right at the fielder. Is bobbled by the fielder. So David Justice hits a liner over to Vizquel. He can't handle it. He bobbles it. And Justice beats out the throw on the air. Let's go up now. 706. It's going to come off his card versus a lefty, the pitcher's card. So Klesko pops it up over to Ramirez. Ramirez is under it. He makes the grab. For the first out, Javi Lopez up now. 446 will be his card against a righty. That's going to be a P. So Lopez pops it up over to the second baseman. P4 for the one to the second out. One out. And that brings up Belliard now. 566 gets a righty. That's going to be on the pitcher's card. That's going to be a IFR infield range. He is a righty, so a right spray hitter on the infield range chart. So we roll two die. Rolls a 55. That's going to be a line drive. Let's go over to the line drive key. It's a 55. So that's going to be the shortstop. So let's go get the shortstops. Uh, line drive rating. And the shortstop is Vesco. Range is a B. So we're going to roll on the B of oh, the line drive. Rolls a 41. And that's going to be a leap and grab by the scale. Leap and grab. Fielder makes a leap and grab. Closest runner doubled off. Only third base may double off runner on third. Well, we already have two outs. So Belliard hits a line drive over at Viscal and he makes a leap and grab for the third out. And after seven, we're still tied zero to zero. Top of the eight. And we got Martinez still in there. He's going to go another in and he's still pitching good. Martinez is up. Rose 697. And that's going to come off his card. 697 will be a slow grounder to second base. 
So that'll be a 4-3 on Martinez for the first out. And we go back to the top of the lineup with Lofton up now. Rosa 9-48. Lefty on Tom Glavins. 9-48 is going to be a hard grounder. Well, we're at the fatigue rating. We're in the 8. So Glavin's going to go down 1-2. So we got to drop down. And we rolled, what, a 940, 944? It's going to turn into a base on balls because he's tired, getting fatigued. So Lofton's on. Brings up the scale now. 663 versus a lefty. Well, he's both, so he'll be a righty. 663 will be a liner to center field. That's a single LCF. Let's go to that. LCF, first base. Okay, he rolled a 663, so that's going to be an odd. So we go down here, LCF. So three through seven. So three through seven. Let's go look at Lofton's card. Lofton has a three, and he can try to take third. And it's a liner to center field. One plus choice. They're going to chance it. So we go to the coach's choice card. Outfielder's throwing arm. Add or subtract on throw from the outfield. So let's find out LCF. Who would that go to? It's got to go to center field. So let's bring up the center fielders. That's Marquise Grissom. His throwing arm. And it looks like he has a minus one. So let's make a row. He rolls an eight. So it'll be a seven. So seven plus. So now we got a row on the seven. On the adjusted base running rating. And he rolls a two. So according to this, looks like you go runner is safe, standing up, batter and runners hold. So Lofton on the liner to center field is going to make it over to third base. And Vizquel is going to be on first. He's in there standing up. And Marquis Grissom throws it into second base to keep Vizquel at first. Glavin's in a little trouble now. And he is taking on Borrega now. 624, he would be a righty off the pitcher's card. 624 is going to be a slow grounder to shortstop. I would imagine they have the infield in with a man on first and third. Same as first, except runner on third scores. Infield in, third base coach's choice. We can hold the runner on third, batter out at first. So we got an A and a B. So he can hold the runner, batter out at first, runner on first to second. Or we could send the runner home, and the defense has an option to retire the batter at first or throw him home. Batter safe. That was a slow grounder to shortstop. So they're going to send the runner home. And we go to the coach's chart here. Okay, so we take the infielder's arm, add or subtract on second base plus choice, and slow grounder and at risk of running to throw a play at home. Two with bases loaded. Okay, so let's get the infielders throwing arm. It's the shortstop. Atlanta shortstop is going to be Belliard. Doesn't throw, doesn't show anything. So it's going to be a zero, but infield in. So track two with bases loaded, otherwise one. So we're going to take one off that. Now we roll a die. Two, so it's going to be a one. So now we roll. That and we wrote a 98. 98 says blown call. Let's go see what that says now. Roll one die. A. If the number is 0 to 4, a runner is safe. Fielder covering on the plate is ejected for arguing the call. If the number is 5 to 9, runner is out, injected for arguing the call. So we're not going to eject neither one, but we're going to roll to C on the blown call. It's a 0. Runner is safe. So Lofton scores on the slow grounder to shortstop on a close play at home, and everybody is safe. So Borrega brings in the first run here, and it's now 1-0. to zero. And That brings up Albert Bell with one out and a man on first and second. He rolls a 732 on the pitcher's card versus a righty. And that's going to be a high fly to left field for the second out. Runners hold. Eddie Murray up now with two out. 9.83 will be a righty. 
983 will be a hard grounder to Rafael Bellard. He picks it up, fires it first, and they get out of the inning with run, one run. So it's now 1-0 to zero now going into the bottom of the eight. And Martinez is going to stay in, and Glavin's going to stay in. He's batting. 277, liner to right field for Glavin. Glavin is on with a shot out to left field. That's going to bring up the top of the lineup now. Marquise Grissom up. 6-12. Gets a righty. Be a slow grounder to shortstop. Let's see what we get on that. Slow grounder to shortstop with a guy on first. Runner has a rating of the batter out at first. Equal runner advances a second. And I believe Glavin is slow. Glavin is forced out at second. And Grissom is on now. A fielder's choice. Let's see if Grissom gets a jump. Okay, let's see. Here's the jump chart. Martinez has a hold of... Average. He has average. Marquise Grissom has a jump of two. So two in average. He rolls 18. This is all. So average. So 18 will be a pickoff attempt. So there's a pickoff attempt. Let's see. If the pitcher or the catcher have a pickoff rating, rating greater than zero, roll one die. So it looks like there's no pickoff attempt. So Grissom's going to stay there. That's going to bring up Lemke now. 204 against a righty. That's going to be a, a liner to right field. Yeah, a liner over to left field. So man on first and second. That brings up Chipper Jones in a big clutch situation now. He rolls a seven, uh, 47 against a righty. That's going to be an E. Let's go to that chart. Let's find out who it's on. Row of seven, so it's going to be the left fielder, which we know is Albert Bell, and I believe he has a 10, his uh, error rating. Albert Bell is real good out there. Let's go and check just to make sure. Yeah, his error is a uh, six, Albert Bell. So he has a six, so we know what that is now. So we roll two die, 28. That's going to be a high fly to left field, and he's just going to call that an out. So Chipper Jones hits a high fly to left field for the second out. And the runners hold at first and second. Fred McGriff now, can he do it? He rolls a 151 against a righty. That's going to be a hard grounder to shortstop. Vizquel throws it on over to Eddie Murray. And that ends that inning. Cleveland leading 1-0 going into the ninth. Tom Glavin's still in. We're at the top of the night now. Manny Ramirez up to bat. He's 0 for 2 with a walk today. 826. Coming off the pitcher card versus a righty. 826. A double to right center fill for Manny Ramirez. Start off the inning. and Glavin's still out there. Losing 1 to 0. That brings up Tommy now. Rose A. 23 against the lefty. That's going to be the E. Let's find out who the error is on. Five, third baseman. Let's go see what Chipper Jones is. Chipper Jones has a four. So back to third base. Four. Let's roll two die. 25 on the four would be a chop. Oh, go down. 25. Easy grounder. Fielded. But throw pulls first baseman off the bag. All runners advance one base. So Manny Ramirez moves over to third. Tommy's on with an error by Chipper Jones. I believe that's two today. And that's going to bring up Pena up to bat. 479 versus a lefty will be a high fly to center field. Let's see if that'll bring him in. Let's go to the high fly, see what they say on that. We can go to the coaches, run out there, and may attempt to score by going. That was a high fly to center field. Yep, high fly to center field. They're going to try it. So we go to the coach, coach's choice. So let's see, Marquise Grissom's throwing arm. Grissom playing center field. His throwing is a minus one. So I take it he has a pretty decent arm for the center field. So minus one, let's roll the die. Get a one, that's going to be a zero. So he's going to be on the zero chart. 
36 on the zero will be a cut down. Let's see what cut down says. Runner is cut down on a great throw. Batter and other runners hold. Marquise Grissom with a clutch throw from the outfield. Gets the tag at home. I'm Manny Ramirez for the, that'll be two outs because it was a high fly. Pena, Pena, fly ball to center for one. Ramirez gets out at home. And Tommy stays on first. What a great play by Marquise Grissom. To keep the score at one to zero. Uh, they're going to stick with Martinez. Good. He's been pitching good too. So they're going to stick with him. 603. It's going to come off the Glavin's card. 603 will be a slow grounder to shortstop for the third out. And that rally ended for Cleveland there. On a great play by Marquise Grissom with that throw to home. And we're going to go to the bottom of the ninth now. Bottom of the ninth. Justice is up. And he's facing Jose Mesa, the closer of the Indians. He's a righty. Throws at 834 against a righty. 834 will be AK. So Clus go up now. 774 against a lefty. 774 is a K. So one more out. And Cleveland will tie this series up. That brings up Javi Lopez. He rolls a 601 against a righty. 601 will be a slow grounder to shortstop for a 6-3 out. And that will end the game. Cleveland winning 1-0. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. And tune in for the next game.